Hey guys, hey guys, is everybody uh, getting fussy about me being late? That's okay, I understand, I understand. Stay put. There we go. By the way, guys, this is going to be a really, really fun live stream because we're finally going to be making games. Last week, we did a full uh, master class. It was really fun hanging out with you guys live. Now it's just, well, let's go ahead and make a game. Let's do some artwork. Let's create this beautiful snake. Let's use our 2D art skills and our 3D art skills. And I do know that some of you last week, um, we did a promo last week for full-time game dev, but if you're interested in um, well, that's the wrong screen. If you're interested, <laughs> if you're interested in only learning about artwork, check out the Ultimate Game Artist course below. There are 10 seats available. You're gonna get 50% off using the promo code half off, okay? Um, you're gonna learn 2D art and 3D art. The best part about these programs, what makes these different from the cheaper courses on, let's say, Udemy and Skillshare, is these courses are, well, they're very long. You're gonna learn everything that I've learned in the last decade of doing 2D art and 3D art. And you're also going to learn from my 3D artist, Felipe, who did the artwork in our game that we're working on during this live stream. You're gonna learn from him as well. And guys, you're gonna learn everything you need to know, at least what me and my team use in doing 2D art and 3D art for your games. So click below to get 50% off and it could very well be one of the best investments you've made for your game career. And I wanted to say a huge, huge thank you to, I think it's Dong Hiji, Dong Hiji, I don't know how to say that, uh, Dan Wright, Christopher B, Mauricio V, and Ben L for joining our programs last week. It really means a lot to me. And by the way, if you're a student of any of these programs, let us know in the chat what you think about the programs. But just wanted to say a huge thank you because guys, anytime you join my programs, you support the production of Twisted Tower. And that means so much to me. So let's go ahead and jump inside of Unity and get started. By the way, guys, feel free to download my free 2D game kit below. It's totally free, it's my treat to you. I used this exact 2D game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days, and then I got to play it in front of his subscribers, which was really awesome. Um, so download that, use it however you want. It's my treat to you. Yeah. Okay. All right, so that is the wrong screen. It's always the wrong screen. So <laughs> let me try and fix it really quick. Uh, hello? Yeah, sorry, I got a new, a new uh, setup here. And so my, my monitors are inverted. So for some reason, Windows thinks monitor one is monitor two and monitor two is monitor one. So I'm just really confused and I don't know how to fix it. Um, so, <laughs> so anyway, guys, let's go ahead and jump inside of Unity. Now, what I wanted to show you before we start working on the snake is sort of show you the functionality of the Enderman, okay? So I'm gonna turn on our audio and I believe the Enderman should work. This is the first time I've tested this. Um, in a long time, so let's hit play and see what we get here. All right. So we are currently working on this underground, creepy sewer system slash pool house. And we have an Enderman. There he is, and he kills you in one slash. I just got chills. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> That is our Enderman. Now, he is actually just, he's just our, our runner enemy type, okay? But he has a very fast speed, and he also kills you in one hit, okay? See, I love the socks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap out this mesh with a snake mesh um, that we found on Turbo Squid. Now, a lot of you are thinking, why is Thomas using meshes? Shouldn't he be doing art from scratch? Well, actually something that Felipe and I teach in our programs and what we teach on this channel and what we utilize in our own games is there's no reason to recreate the wheel, like a snake, for example. I'm not gonna have Felipe and I'm not gonna do the, the, the textures or anything like that for a snake if we could just get it on Turbo Squid, okay? So let's go ahead and drag in our basilisk into this object here. Zero at his position, there he is and we just want his head to be right here, 
Okay, so there's our basilisk that we downloaded from the asset store or from Turbo Squid, and he is going to slither around with his mouth closed. So let's go ahead and close his mouth. Where is your bone? I think we can do a bone renderer. Um, so yeah, what Felipe does really, really well, and guys, Felipe's in the chat, so be sure to say hello to Felipe. Ask him, um, feel free to ask him any questions. Also, Felipe does teach in the course as well, so if you're interested in joining the program, he'll be your teacher alongside me. I, I teach the, the more layman stuff, and, and Felipe is really the guy that, that teaches the, uh, the hardcore stuff. Okay, let's see if we can find his freaking mouth. There it is. Hello. Hey guys, how's it going? Hey Felipe, how you doing? So this mouth, we want closed. We want this mouth closed as well. Okay, so just like that. So he's gonna slither around. Hey Felipe, feel free to hang on the chat. Um, sort of while you work, man. So Felipe's working on another level right now. Um, so, but he can hang on the chat if he, if he wants to, I don't mind. Um, so feel free to hang out in the chat, man. Okay, so we've got our snake, right? And this is going to be included in our graphics folder. So there's our graphics folder. And I'm gonna just disable this guy entirely. I believe, yeah, we don't need any of that. So we're just gonna disable that. Also the little sickle here, we're gonna disable that. And so literally all we're doing is just gonna have this snake slither around um, and hopefully it should work just fine. Although I will say his size is so small and I feel like it, might, it needs to be one, one, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll bring it back to that center position. So center it up here. Uh, let's see here, there we go. Just like this and there we go. Okay, so this guy will hopefully wander around. So we shall see, we shall see. So let's save the scene and hit play. All right. Good, good, good. Let's hit play. So I'm gonna just go to scene view here and see if the snake is actually wandering around. There he is. He works. Watch him turn, you're gonna love this. <laughs> hey buddy. All right, let's try one more time. Let's see where he is. Right. And yeah, guys, again, feel free to ask Felipe questions about 3D art, um, how he did these, these maps and, and the textures. Um, Felipe's hand is all over this level in particular because I haven't done any of the textures. I've mainly acted as the art director and really just given, you know, done a lot of the code, but have given a lot of free reign to Felipe. So this is the big problem, right? The body, this is where I'm gonna need everybody's help because I'm not great at configurable joints. What we need is we need this body to hang out with the snake as he wanders around, okay? But let's see how scary it looks when I run to him, okay? And you can hear him. There he is. Oh, wait, why are you riding the snake? <laughs> He's riding the snake. Okay, so let's disable uh, our little buddy here. So we have this script here, that's what's going on. So we'll remove that. That it basically just enables the guy and we don't want that. Yeah, Andrew, that, Andre, um, why do I always, freaking always forget your name, Andre, whoa, Andre, um, or Andrew, uh, sorry, I have a friend whose name was Andrew, and, or Andy, and he changed his name to Andre, so I'm trying to remember whose name is who, um, I feel terrible, sorry, dude. But Andre, Andrew, says that's terrifying. So let's see if we can find him. <sighs> Snake. So there's the chance that the player could just run around and completely, there he is. 
<laughs> All right, good. Okay, so the snake looks good. Um, I kind of feel like he's not that scary because of the glowing teeth. But anyway, let's go ahead and set up his ragdoll. Um, one of the things when it comes to ragdoll armatures that I'm not fully aware of is how to set them up manually, I usually just do it with the ragdoll tool. Um, so let's see if we can uh, get this set up here. Um, surely, surely the ragdoll exists. There's a character joint there, okay. So we're gonna copy this character joint. Guys, I don't understand character joints. That's our, that's our big problem. So I'm gonna need everybody's help here. We're gonna create a character joint for our little snake here, okay? So his head here, that needs a character joint, but this, okay, so actually it's, this doesn't need a character joint, I don't think. Ah, yes, okay, so we're gonna add a character joint there. Paste, comp all right, let's add a character, to jo character joint. Nope, there it is, okay. So there's one right there, and it includes a rigid body on there, but it also probably needs a sphere collider. Am I right, guys? Some kind of sphere collider? Oh man, this is gonna be tough. I, I know that I'm gonna suck at this. Um, point one, because every time I try and do character joints, I suck. I think it needs to be a, a maybe even a uh, capsule collider, but on the floor. Is that true? It's not true. Well, maybe, I, I, I don't know guys. Um, first things first, let's do a bone renderer. We need to set up bone renderers. So I'm gonna add, let's see here, tools. Actually, we can do one right here. Bone renderer, there it is. So where is it? Okay, there's no bones there, so we'll copy that, remove that, and we're gonna paste a bone renderer on everything. So there's bones on all of this, right? Yeah, let's take a look. Paste component, paste value, component is new. So I'm not seeing any bones. Why is that, guys? Ah, you gotta set up the transform. Is it this? I wanna see the bones. Dang it, I can't remember. Well, let's just try this one. Use spheres, it's smoother. Yeah, I think we're gonna use a sphere collider. Okay, there's one, and the configurable joint is here, and that's how much it can move in each direction. But we don't have a rigid body that it's connected to, so we need to like maybe connect it to this one don't know. Let's take a look. There he is. In a weird way, this works. I know it doesn't look like it works, <laughs> but in a weird way, I think it works. Um, at least it's dragging around. So I feel like I want his, the configuration to be 100%. Like he can go in any direction, that bone. So we're gonna go to the configurable joint here and we're gonna set it up so that it's basically infinite, right? So boom, like that, like this, like this, and like this. So he can move in any direction. So let's try that. Just set the connected body, rigid body to the immediate parent RB. I think I did that, so we're good. Oh good, okay, so it's sort of falling down. I, I feel like that's okay. I wonder what's going on there. What would happen if I, t if I add a character joint to this one as well? I'm so bad at this, guys. I'm, I've been doing this for 10 years, or maybe six years doing this 3D stuff, and I still don't understand it. 
You know, I just don't, I don't fully get it. But we're gonna add a configurable joint there and just allow, there we go, full range of motion. Um, and we shall see. So the connected rigid body would be this one, right? So there's that one up front and then that one behind. There's that one, there's that one, and then there's that one. Okay, so this would be, we need a sphere collider and we'll just scale it up, scale it down. Whoa, 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 Thomas, come on, man. Oh, I'm getting confused, point one. And there's this one. So that's 0 0.03. Okay, so we'll do 0 0.03. And it should drag around. Maybe try hinge joints. I think they're easier. Just added one to each bone, parenting and connected to the immediate parent on each to make them all sphere. You might be right. What the heck? What is happening? <laughs> Why are you rotating like that? Oh my word. <laughs> what in the world? I, I, I. <laughs> Buy my courses, guys. I'll teach you everything. <laughs> okay. So I don't know what's going on here we're gonna figure this out that's what we'll, we're gonna figure it out that's the thing um i have this theory that it doesn't have to be this complicated so i i feel like what we want to do is get the first one working perfectly so it's this one right here okay this one, once we get it, and I, I feel like sphere collider is not going to be right. I think it needs to be a capsule collider, honestly. Um, do this. There it is. I feel like capsule collider is what we want to do. And it goes all the way down to there. And then that one's there. See, it's hard because I can't get the bone renderer to work. So I don't really know where the bones start. But I feel like that is going to be just fine. So let's save that out. And I'm trying to figure out, oh man, he should sort of drag around, you know? So I don't quite know. Maybe one bone renderer all transforms in the list. Oh, okay. Okay. So we do bone renderer. And then we just do like 25 here. Thank you, thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it should actually, let's see here, uh, ragdoll or bone renderer helper. Just drag them all in there. We'll lock this here and then just do this. So go to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All these. Can't do it. Okay. Five, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. By the way, those of you just joining us, if you're interested in learning 3D art and 2D art, there's a program in the description called Game Artist, the ultimate game artist. It's a massive program. I think it's over, it could be 20 hours of content. I feel like it's 20 hours of content. It'll show you on the website. But me and Felipe teach that program and Felipe's in the chat right now. You're gonna get 50% off, but there's only 10 codes available and this lasts for the next three days. So if you wanna learn all about 2D and 3D art and how to use those skills to make indie games, check out the program below. It does support the development of Twisted Tower. So a huge thank you to those of you who do join. And if you're in the program, in those programs, let us know in the chat what you think. Okay, so that renders our bones. Thank okay, great. So our bones are now rendered. Okay, so now we can see the bones. That's, that's exactly what we needed to do. Um, sure, let's go ahead and render these bones as well. So the mouth, I believe. 
There's our bone renderer. The, the mouth should render as well. Okay, so those aren't rendering. Why is that? There we go. It's the end. There we go. Okay, so guys, look. We've got all of our bones rendering, and that means now we can click on the bones and it'll select the bone, okay? Um, so that, that's bone one, interesting, okay? And then what we'll do, why is a bone render adding to all of those? Oh, I see, there we go. Okay, so we got a rigid body here, capsule collider, character joint. So if I save and hit play here, And we can take a look now at our snake. He's kind of rotating around in a weird way. And I just don't get it. There he goes. He's falling down. That's good. That's just so weird. I don't understand it. Um, man. Maybe he doesn't need to have a connected body. You know? Is that true? I don't know what that sound was, but okay. Whoa. I'm so bad at this stuff. I told you guys. Okay, I think he does. He needs a connected body. Are his bones too long? No. Yeah, whatever that sound was, it was pretty scary. Why is it doing that? Is it because it's in the ground? It could be that it's in the ground. And we don't want that, do we? Yes, I believe that's it. So we'll do 0 0.01 and we'll see if that's the problem. Okay, okay, we got it. but he can roll. Ah, see, we don't want it to be able to roll. Okay, guys? So, okay, I'm starting to sort of figure it out. Um, so let's go to our, we'll shrink it down like that. Let's go to our, our character joint, edit it, and we don't want it to be able to roll, okay? So let's take this, whoopsie, son of a bee. There we go. We don't want it to be able to roll. So that's the only direction it can go. Okay, good, good, good. Save it, hit play, we'll take a look. No, 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 there's no, those, those other joints aren't even set up yet, guys. We just want this one to work and drag along. Good, there we go. So look, as it turns, oddly, it feels like there needs to be like a damp. Why does it do that? Like for example, watch this guys. If I took all these bones here and set them to zero, 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 this, all we really need to locate, if I set all these to zero, 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 this bone in itself should be, it should work just fine as is, and it's not. So that's the real problem here. Look at that. Maybe I need to set the mass. Hmm. What happens if I lift it up and sort of roll it and rotate it? Okay. <laughs> what? Could be drag, I don't know. We're gonna figure it out though. So there it's dangling which is kind of realistic because it's through the ground. Okay, turn off that roll. Interestingly, when the rigid body turns, it keeps its rotation. It's because it's a child. It's because it's a child. Ah, I got it, okay. So if I move this up here, that should fix the problem. Let's take a look. Jump Kit says, it's oddly satisfying to see you struggle. Gives me hope. 
Wow, I'm glad I could be that for you. See, Felipe, I told you. Um, uh, I, I was telling Felipe that this morning. That, uh, why is it doing that? What the heck? Look at this. It's, it's way over there. Oh, okay, I think that's fine. Let's hit play. Okay. So the head, we need to set that up. But this looks kind of right. We're almost there, guys. That's correct. Got it. Okay. So that is correct. Um, this is the first bone. So the head bones mm, are right here. So let's start with the head bones, okay? We're gonna take this uh, capsule collide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a second. So close. I can feel it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So what I think we need to do is right here, we're gonna do a configurable joint. Um, and it's going to have the attached rigid body of this guy. And, oh man, we're so close guys. It's that one. And then this one is going to have this as the connected body. Okay. So if we go up to this one, we go to the, the joint. Oh crap. It's way over there. So we need to move the anchor. To negative 43. Whoa. What in earth? Oh man, we're so close. We're so close. Let's remove this really quick. So what's happening? Let's take a look. That's correct. That's correct. It's just for some reason those bones are not moving with it, which makes sense. So I really need these bones to follow this. So this armature here, yep, okay. So I was on the right track. Um, this is, I don't like how that origin is down there. Okay, I think I've got it. So Felipe, what I'm gonna do is I think I need to go into the um, blend file here and we need to move the origin to his face. Is that correct? Um, yep, so the origin is way over there. So what we need to do is we need to, we're in object mode. How do I show this again? Is it the slash? There we go, yeah. Okay, um, so we're gonna go to the origin here and make it his head. Uh, so if I go to my cursor here, put it right there. Yeah, so we're gonna go object set origin to 3D cursor, save, and hopefully when we add this configurable joint, it'll be on his head. There it is. Armature, good. So that's where his uh, head is, but I think what I want to do is put it like right. That should be good actually. So I don't know why it's right there. I think it's because the bones are right there. So let's go ahead and try this. Let's do a configurable joint. There it is. Good. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do a uh, capsule collider. This is such a pain. Why, why doesn't Unity have a snake rag doll set up? That would be great. I'm going to do 0.02. That's fine shrink the height down, and then probably need to move it up a little bit. This is such a mess. We'll do 0 0.01 or uh, 0 0.03. We're gonna try that for now, guys. Um, the rigid body is this one here, and then this one's rigid body is this. 
Do, do, do. Just like that. Okay. There's our capsule collider. Let's, let's fix the rigid body. We're going to um, go to this here. Okay, so we don't want the, the ability to roll. Why can't I fix? What? Why can't I change it? I don't see the handles. There's no handles. Anyway, let's go ahead and hit play here and see what we got. Hello. Whoa. I don't get it. So there, it's attached to this rigid body. Oh, I think it's because it wasn't moving or something. I don't know. Let's take a look. There he goes but his head isn't following for some reason. Looks like it is, but these bones aren't attached to it. I'm so confused, guys. <laughs> Set the X, Y, Z to limited. Oh man. Ah uh, yes, limited. Okay. X, Y, po Z position to locked. Okay. And then these are limited. Ah, good. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you. I told you I need you. Thank you so much. Doot. We don't want any roll, but we do want the ability for the red. In fact, I would even argue that um, we don't even want the ability for the red to move. We don't want his head to be able to go up like this. So let's hit play and take a look. Yay, okay, it works. So therefore, what we need to do is, it looks like it's it's centering up so it doesn't know exactly where to go. So we need to have some kind of drag. Um, so his anchor needs to be like up here on the Z axis. Yeah, 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 on the Y. So like here, let's try this, like right there. Let's see if that solves the problem. Okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Sorry, I'll turn that down. I know what's going on there. Okay, good. So I, I kind of get what's going on here. Um, All right, let's keep moving. So that looks kind of decent. Let's remove the red. So all he can do is shift left to right, okay? Um, and if we go to the capsule collider here, I believe we'll see what's going on here. Okay, so uh, it looks like it's interacting with itself, with this, which we don't want. Um, so let's go ahead and go to our physics settings. Player settings, if we go to our physics, we can see. That the enemy cannot interact with ragdoll limbs, so we need to change all of these to the layer ragdoll limbs, every single thing, so that we don't see any interaction between the two. Okay. Okay, so he's dragging along and that's good that's kind of what I want let's take a look and see what happens good so this bone here we're gonna disable the we set the rigid body to zero for now and I don't even want to see it, to be honest. So 
I just want to see the head. How's the head doing? Let's turn on some drag. Good, guys. Good. I don't want to see any weird movements with this head. That's weird. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> kind of, kind of there. All right. So, and by the way, guys, um, Felipe, who is sometimes in the chat, he's do he's done all of the 3D art on this level. So congratulations to Felipe. He's done an incredible job. So let's give Felipe a round of applause with some applause emojis. He's done a very good job with the artwork, especially when you turn on all the lighting and stuff. It's super creepy. He's super talented. Okay, um, oh, this is hard, <laughs> but we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Um, the first thing is I, I always want this, I always want him to face the, uh, I think I got it, I think I got it. So we're gonna set this to zero, zero, zero. I'm gonna remove any configurable joints right now from the whole, the body. All I want is the head. I just need this head to perfectly, um, yep, to, per to perfectly follow. The controller. So let's see what happens here. That's right. But he's sliding. Look at him. He sort of rotates a little bit. And I wish there was more like of a... Look at that. Okay, but that's right. That's right. What if I just changed the, uh, the drag, but not the angular drag? That's, that's okay. That's kind of good. What if I made it so that it's always facing the player? So we could do a... Um, what do you call it? A... Oh, I can't remember. Um, animation rigging. Override something override. Hmm. But so far it looks okay. Let's see what's going on here. That's right. He just over, he overshoots it. So what if I said it, the, the, the drag to 25, what would happen? Okay, so you feel like the, the head should uh, not, okay. So you're, you're feeling like it shouldn't have a configurable joint. It should just, um, hmm, hmm, okay. So your, your theory is that it should be parented, right? Wherever the Anderman is. So that's what we had. Um, I don't see why he's not zeroed out. Look at that. Isn't that weird? Man, guys, I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Do you guys want to figure this out? Angular, angular drag might be what we need. Yeah, it could be. Um, the, the problem with him, I, 
I think the problem is is that the rotation originally the rotation was being inherited. Does that make sense? So if I hold on, there we go. So there's our walker. Okay, there we go. So let's remove this rigid body really quick. Let me show you what I mean. So that looks good, right? That's correct. This bone here, if we set it to 111, I don't want it to inherit the rotation. I want it to drag along, right? So that's, that's the big problem here. So if I add a, um, and it's good to do this one bone at a time, keep me sane here. So if I add a bone, um, or I, we could try a hinge joint, honestly. You guys wanna try a hinge joint? And the hinge joint would be along a certain axis. Ah, yes. So this, this makes more sense. So it's kinda like a configurable joint, but it's just one. Um, and it's connected rigid body is to the, um, good to the Walker. Okay. So far so good. But the problem is, is that this bone, one, 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 this bone is now inherited. So it's rotation is inherited. Damped transform constraint does that. Okay, where is that? Let's take a look here. If I hit save here, and then also let's add that capsule collider. We're close, guys. I can feel it. We're getting close. Once we figure out this one joint, everything just trails along and it makes sense. And so it won't take that long, but we need to get this um, sort of the theory behind all of it working. Okay, so we'll, we'll shrink that and then the height. And we can even just do this. There we go. So I'm trying to figure out why the rotation is inherited. Really sucks. So let's hit play here and take a look. So watch, when he rotates, it's inherited. which I don't want. See that? That's not what I want. So the question is, how do I get this not to inherit the rotation of its parent? But one way we could do this is we could take this up here and we could simply match this transform, oh, but that's still gonna do the same thing. Darn it. So, let the, so you're saying we need this to be dynamic? The, the, uh, the bones? Okay, you might be right. Collision, detection, continuous dynamic. You're saying the bones don't need to be parented, really? Okay, we'll try it. So let's try that really quick. So we have these bones here. Curtis is right, add a damped transform. Okay. Which is what? Where? In the rigid body? or in the hinge joint. Brennan. Oh, okay. So damped transform. Okay, constrained object. What, what, so what do I put here? Thank you guys, by the way, for your help. Um, 
The game object that influences the, con the constrained objects transform. Okay, so I constrain myself and then the, this one here. I believe that's the solution. Kind of works. That's cool. We're close, guys. We're close. I told you. And what I mean is I told you, once we figure this thing out, we're good to go. So let, let me, before I brag here, actually, I'm not going to brag at all because it's all you guys. Thank you. So that is a little weird. But <laughs> it kind of works, right? Uh... 100%. We're gonna wait for him to turn around here. I'm trying to figure out which values here are, are we wanna do. Uncheck, maintain, aim. Is that what it was? Let's try. It's going to be a disaster when you put the whole body together. <laughs> Probably. So that, for me, isn't quite working because it's still rotating when the head rotates. And we don't... It's close, though. You know, it did something. Um, yeah. So it could be that the source is actually this. Let's take a look here. Yeah, yeah, it's still rotating. Does anybody know why? Okay, we've got another solution here from Jason. So we're gonna, the smaller body pieces, I'm not worried about that right now. Unparent all bones, make them all children of the root game object. So the reason why, I have to I have to sort of justify this in my head. The reason why the snake is parented to this object is so that the head follows around, okay? So it could be that, let me just save it here. It could be that we can unparent the armature. We can open up the, the prefab here, break, completely unpack. And then if I brought the armature up like this, And then I put, okay, so the graphic of the snake is now inside, right? Um, actually, it's not. So if I take these bones here, these bones could potentially be inside the parent and sort of follow around. These bones are their own. So let's try that. Close. I think that did it, guys. That did it. Very good. Thank you. So I, I believe Jason, Jason Lovett, is correct here. Very good. Awesome. So yes, we need more bones. We do need more bones. But to be sure, let's take a look and see how to get rid of that, that jittery um, movement here. So angular drag, is it angular maybe? And one, one, three, two, two. I wonder what the jittery nature of that is, how to solve that. It could be the damp transform too. Get rid of the inherited physics. Okay. Is that on the hinge joint? What do you mean? Um, Jason, Jason's the, the pretty smart here. So what do you, Jason, where do I do the inherited physics? Where is that?
Oh, I already did it by end parenting. Okay. Um, let's see here. Is there anything to make this not, I understand that we need to do shorter segments. I understand that. Um, and I will see if I can get Felipe to do that for me really quick. Um, Felipe, do you want to go ahead and do that and then push it? Um, don't push any changes, Felipe, to the, if you're still in the chat, if you don't mind, don't push any changes to the actual prefab, just the blend model. And I'm thinking this segment itself right here should have like four segments. So I think we need to cut it into fourths. Okay. Yeah, I will, I will shoot him a message here. Let's see if we can get him to do that for us during this live stream. Could you cut the, uh, uh, could you quadruple the amount of bones for the snake and push the blend model? Um, but not the prefab. Okay, so we'll see if he uh, will do that. Okay, um, so let's see if he can do that for us. And um, we shall jump into Unity here and take a look. Look at that. I love that. So, so what I do want to do though, is I want to make sure um, that we don't need that damp, tra damp transform anymore. I want to make sure we can solve the jitteriness of just the drag itself um, while, while Felipe does this. So see how it's a little jittery? We need to figure out why that is, okay? Um, it could be that the capsule collider itself is unnecessary and that it should be a sphere collider. You know, it, it could be that. I kind of feel like we should try that, you know? So let's try a sphere collider. There we go. So point one or point oh two, and it would be like in the center of it, right? It'd be like right here so that he could go through the walls if he needs to, you know, so he's not sort of stuck. 0.25. Save, hit play. Why are you bouncing around like that? What in the world? Isn't that weird, guys? Isn't that so weird? Why does it do that? Uh, it can get stuck. Okay, so we don't want to do a, cap, a, a sphere collider. We still want the caps collider. Um, so let's take a look here. Where is this? There it is, okay. All right, so we're gonna do super thin. Um, I don't even know if it matters. You know, even if it was a uh, 0.01. Got to set some limits to prevent it from moving beyond a range of motion. Okay. Yes. I agree. I wonder why his, uh, look, this is weird. Now his head doesn't follow. What just happened? What just happened? I'm confused. I don't 
remember what I did. Oh, that's right. Yeah, these bones need to go inside the enemy, I believe. Yeah. That's I didn't know you could break bones apart. I had no idea. Um, so that's cool. Okay, so we need limits, huh? All right, so we'll, we'll throw in some limits. Turn off the damped transform. Put in some limits here. Uh, what was it? Um, it, it's weird, it, you know, I keep getting confused here. I want to be able to edit the, the joint, but I can't. See that? I can't edit the limits anymore, and I don't know why. I'm so bad at this stuff. Um, I can't remember. Use limits bull. There we go. Thank you. I'm sorry, guys. My apologies. I'm really bad at this stuff. Okay, so yeah, it'll be something like that, right? Or is it something like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's going to have very subtle limits. Let's try that. Well, that didn't work. What in the world? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. We're figuring this out together. There we go. So with the limits, he can get stuck. You know, that's what's weird. Put the rigid body interpolation to equals interpolate and you can set the friction, okay? We'll try that. And no limits, no limits. Um, I don't see any friction. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that. I think it looks a lot better. Um, we just need more joints. I could see this really having a problem if he gets stuck in a glitch. Um, add a frictionless material. Okay. That looks a lot better though right here. Okay, so that sort of continuous thingamajig helped. Um, yeah. Let's see here. Let's see if we've got. I believe Felipe's probably pushed it. Oh, he's gonna. Do, he got. He's got two minutes. No big deal. Let me try and shrink the body first. I'm gonna try something, guys. Uh, we've got. One one one, one one one. Okay, so if we set all these, okay, so those are super long. What if we just shrunk the body, you know? So it's not that long. And that gives us more, more, uh, here. <laughs> I have a theory which is like, what if we just took this and shrunk it? It looks like crap. 
but I just want to see how it functions now. Um, and then moved it up forward like this. I kind of want to see it. He's so confused. Look at that. That's crazy. Why was it doing that? What in the world? He was like flying all over the place. Boy, oh boy. Look at that. So I believe it needs some drag or something. Oh, okay. If you set angular drag to a high value, it's pretty good. There we go. Okay, so I think we're good. Um, so as long as Felipe adds a bunch of bones, we're good. All right, so that's great. Um, overall, I think once we get the bones, we're good. And we just need that to be five, five. So if we set the, um, I can show you guys really quick. So let's do a little practice run here. Learn something new every day. If we set that to five and then that to five, and then each one of the, let's see if that, that makes it so that the spinning is out, no longer out of control. Good, okay. So each one of these needs to have the same exact structure. Good, okay. So let's, let's try it out. Let's go ahead and take each hinge joint. Paste, come on, as new. See what happens here. So now we have this hinge joint. Good, okay. It's all setting up properly, so we could paste them all. Let's try the paste component as new. So now we have all of these different hinge joints on each one, and they should be nice and centered up like this. And then we also want to take that capsule collider and paste it on each one. And the theory is they should be set up properly here. Good, there's that one. There's that one. Hey, okay. So here we go. One more check. Um, I understand we're going to need to make, make his body longer, but we're just doing a check here, okay? So um, now we just need to assign who's who. So this is this. This is this. This is this. This is this. This is this, 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 and this is this. And then this one is the parent. Fingers crossed, guys. Oh, also adjust the drag? Yep, we need to adjust the drag. Sorry, go. Good job. Okay, so five to, or I'm sorry, five, five. How in depth is the 3D course section in your ultimate class? Pretty in depth. I mean, we teach everything about making blend blend models, using assets from the asset store, texturing, substance painter, to the terrain tool. Um, so check that out below if you want to join. And it's a 30-day money back guarantee. So all you gotta do is email me and say, Thomas, I don't like it. And I'll I won't even question it. I'll just refund you. So if you want to join, and by the way, there's probably um I have five or six codes left below, guys, if you want to join the Ultimate Game Artist, and that is for the next three days. If you want to learn art, uh, you're going to get 50% off. And if you're a student, let me know in the chat what you think about those programs. Okay, so let's go to scene view here. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was so excited. What? So it looks like there's probably one bone here that's confused. Ah, I knew it. So this one needs to be this one. So bone. Good. 
Good, good. Bone four. So, let's try that. Look at the snake. He's kind of confused, but it kind of works. And that's because he's squashed. But overall, it does work. Look, you can see the bone, guys. Look, you can see the bone is working. So it, 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 it really is that blend file. So we are so close. So all we need is that blend file from Felipe. And then we are good to go. That one's a little weird. And that one is too. But overall, guys, our snake is almost done. I mean, frankly, I have a theory. If I set those back to one, if I set this to one, wait, wait, wait one here we would get some kind of fix here there he goes it's fixing itself there we go but yeah we need we definitely need more more bones but this is great i'm surprised it's working working itself out so well pretty horrifying all right Change the, the interpolation to continuous. Um, interpolate and continuous. Awesome, awesome. So let's double check. Okay. All right. Um, so Felipe has pushed. Felipe has pushed. So we can go ahead and pull. Um, there's going to be some rework, but that's okay. There's going to be some rework. Awesome. So what my theory is, is that now that we know that we can um, bring the bones out, I didn't know we could do that. Learn something new every second with you guys. Now that we know, we can bring the bones out. So that's the first step. Bring the bones out and do whatever we did here. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and let me ask him if I can push something really quick. Do you mind if I push floor negative one? So by the way, guys, the way it works with a team is um, if you're pushing to like, let's say GitHub for version control, scenes cannot be, I can't push a scene change while Felipe's working on a scene change because it'll override his. Um, Cool, okay. All right, guys, let's say a big round of applause to Felipe. Felipe is sort of, uh, I love when he's on board with us during live streams because it helps me. Um, so thank you so much, Felipe, for your help. Um, okay, guys, so let's go ahead and close Discord. And um, we're gonna go ahead and pull on GitHub. Give me just a sec. And while I do this, guys, just remember, you can check out the link below to support the channel. And I'll give you a shout out tomorrow if you want to join the Ultimate Game Artist Program and learn from actual game developers how to do independent 3D and 2D art. Okay, so, and it supports uh, Twisted Towers development. So, um, okay, so we're gonna delete any changes here on GitHub. The only one I wanna push is floor negative one, which is the scene I'm in. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and commit and then pull down our blend file. And that blend file is gonna have new bones. So those new bones hopefully will allow us to get this snake working. I really wanna get this snake working for you guys um, so we can see it in action, right? I, don't, I wish I could get some coffee. Does anybody wanna get me some coffee? Um, okay. So. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I'm not done. I'm just saying thanks for hanging out. Let's jump into my screen here. And uh, let's take a look at our new, isn't this so cool? So now we just have a new um, snake with new bones. So there's our snake. All right, let's go to our basilisk. Basilisk variant, drag him in. 
And let's see if we've got some new bones here, guys. Oh, we sure do. We sure do. Um, there he is. So there's our variant. So I'm gonna di I'm gonna disable this old armature here, and we have this new one here. So here's our basilisk, and we've got a ton of bones. Look at this. Look at all these bones. Oh, <gasps> wow. Okay, that's exactly what we need. All right, guys. So there's our basilisk, and let's go ahead and go to our bone rendra. Um, let's see here. Yeah, we'll do a bone renderer here. So we got to do a little bit of rework here, but that's okay. And we got to, <laughs> oh no, we got to assign all of these bones. Can we, can we please, please, God, just drag this in there? That would be so great if I could just drag it in. Nope, of course not. Oh no. Does anyone want to turn on um, <laughs> the Jeopardy theme? Uh, here we go. Does anybody know a faster way to do this? Oh man. I, surely I wrote a script to do this. Drag the transform word. You think that's what it is? I don't think that's what it is. You can, Thomas, you can. Okay, let's, well, what, what do you mean? I don't think that's possible. You could drag them all, drop again. On the transform, what? Uh, let's try again. I don't think you're right, guys. I think you're wrong. Yeah, I didn't do it, see? Drop them on the transform word. Yeah, it doesn't work. We could try this. Yeah, it doesn't work. On the title. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. All righty. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Okay, isn't that hilarious how I still don't know this? But what's funny is, I promise you, by the end of this video, we're going to have a snake working and everything's going to be okay. And all my credibility will be restored. The first one's a duplicate? Okay, thank you. Zero. Thank you so much, guys. You rock. Bing! That's crazy. I don't want a bone render on all of it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, that's why. Bing! Okay, guys. We've got our bone renderer. And it is currently not rendering bones. Why? What, why are we not rendering bones? Oh, my brain. Does anybody know why we're not rendering bones anymore? Because I don't see them. Uh, what? Why are they no longer rendering? Hmm. I don't fully know. I couldn't tell you guys why they're not rendering anymore. Look. We were so close. We were so close. The original bone is missing? Um, maybe. No. Well, let's try, let's try just one of them. So let's go back to what I was doing earlier. 
um, and drag in one of the bones. Look at it, it's just, uh, huh. We're not getting any bones rendering. That's kind of weird. I couldn't tell you. Bone transform wasn't in element zero originally, but that's a different thing. Yeah. What? Man, we were so close, guys. Hmm. I'm gonna take the bone renderer off of this and put it onto something else, maybe? Paste component as new and lock. And let's just do this one here. Bone one. Okay. Work. Okay. So that's rendering, which is great. And let's try this one. Weird, guys. Look, they're not rendering. Oh well, don't care. We'll remove the bone render entirely. It's not like we really need it anymore. Sure we do. Why would, Thomas, we need it. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna figure out why this isn't working. Some of you wonder, why does, why does making games cost so much money? Because it takes forever to figure out stupid glitches that were working totally fine. I missed a bone. No. Restart Unity. No. Nah. You might be right. Look at that. They're not rendering. Um. <sighs> so annoying. Mr. Bones, Mr. Bones. Mr. Bones, where are you, Mr. Bones? Okay, there's a basilisk with lighting turned on but I don't see any bones being rendered. What? There they go, there they are. So apparently it just needed a good, basically like blowing in the cartridge. Okay, so uh, I don't know what's going on here, but whatever. Good, good, good. Now, what was the next step, guys? The next step is saving also, uh, hey, let's render these here. Bone 047 as well. Um, yep, so we're gonna do 53, maybe even 55 slots. And 51 end, we're gonna do 47 here, and 48 here, and even their, their uh, ends here, and then this here. There we go, okay. So, the next thing we need to do is take these bones out of the basilisk, okay? So what we're gonna do is actually unpack this just once. Can we just do it once? Probably not. Yeah, we need to unpack it completely, which is sad because it's no longer linked to Blender. Um, that's okay. We're gonna take the armature out, and then we're gonna take this, uh, which is the, just the basilisk variant. Um, 
Ooh, let's see here. What are we doing? And we're going to position him inside. Wait, 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 wait. Bone one and two. Go back in time. We have an issue, guys. Before we move forward, we need to make sure we go back into Blender and make sure his... Wait a second. Ah, there we go. Um, make sure we go into Blender again. We need to make sure that the uh, the pivot point is at his head, okay? So let's make sure we fix that really quick. So it needs to be right here. So we're gonna take this, put that there, and then put it here. Good, good, good. Okay, we could even probably do zero here and then 0.5 here. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, and the negative 58 here. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and set, ah, it really should be about here. And then over here. Okay, uh, go to our model. Object, set origin to 3D cursor. There we go, save. Okay, so I'm glad we did that before uh, unpacking. So now his pivot point should be Son of a bee. It should be at his head. Why? <sighs> Local. Center. Look at that, guys. For some reason, it's not uh, object set origin to 3D cursor. Save. So he should rotate like this now. So if we go open into Unity here, interesting, very strange. Man, there are so many things today that have gone wrong and that's okay, but that's just the way it is. Yeah, if a snake ever shifted like this in real life, that would be scary. Oh man, move the snake head to the middle, no. His origin should be set up just fine, just like that. Like we shouldn't see this. It should be right there. Let's go to the actual snake itself. Um, let's see here. The actual blend file, if we drag that in, he's still not, the, the, the origin is still not correct. Isn't that frustrating? Look at that. That's so frustrating. It c no, it's not applying transforms. I don't think we have an issue with our transforms. I mean, we could apply the scale, but uh, it doesn't matter. Um, for some reason, his pivot point <clears throat> is in his belly. Why? Maybe I need to zero this out. Nope. Because you are setting the snake body pivot, not the group pivot. What? What group pivot? So with this right here, we need to go object, set origin to 3D cursor, save. Maybe that's it. Pivot. Nope, that didn't do it. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. It's fine in here. What about this? Object set origin to 3D cursor, save. The teeth are good, armature. Object set origin to 3D cursor, save. What? Uh, but it was working earlier, wasn't it? My brain hurts. Hello. My brain hurts. Hello. 
I think you're updating only the pivot of the mesh, but it's using the pivot of the armature. Uh, yeah, feel free to fix that. I'm talking to Felipe right now. Let's take a look here. Um, okay, so Felipe's gonna push that really quick, guys. Um, it's because it's a blend file and not an FBX. Object apply location? No. Maybe. Let's take a look. Nope, that's not it. It could be. Let's see. No. Um, so, let's see here. Why are you not doing this? Finding money, it will work. Please move the pivot to zero, zero. Why? Are you saying just do this? You're just saying like that? Okay, good. Well, congratulations, you won. I'm gonna tell Felipe, but we're good here. Okay, but he pushed it. So we'll just pull his version and then we'll be good to go. So let me go ahead and discard these. Um, and then we shall be good. You were right, you were right, but I don't know why you were right. That's the, <laughs> that, that's the reason why I'm confused here. Um, we're gonna discard all this here. Uh, I'm gonna push the scene though. Um, and we're gonna push floor negative one, tweaks, commit. I'm gonna pull down really quick guys, one sec. So we're pushing and then we're gonna pull. And that pull should, should automatically work. So let's go ahead and fetch, pull, and we shall see. Yo, because it's a blend file, FBX imports the pivot point on the root, but blends root position is the center of the scene. Well, Jason, you're probably right, considering you've been right this whole stream. Um, but let's take a look here. So we're pulling down, and I'm not seeing a fix inside of our scene here. Let's take a look. Okay, so we're good with the snake. Thank you, Felipe. Felipe, hooray. All right, so Felipe fixed it, fixed it in a different way, which I'm totally fine with. So next thing we want to do, I hope that we don't have to do those freaking bone renderers again. And I think we do. No, we don't. We're good. Okay, so... Let's apply our changes to our variant here. Okay, the variant's good, actually. So, now, slow down. Slow and steady, Thomas. These bones are going to be attached. We're going to unpack this completely. Then we're going to attach all of this stuff to our Enderman. So we're just gonna put them right here. Actually, here's what, we, <laughs> there's so many things I need to do. Um, yeah, and you have to do it in order. So we're gonna drag this here, just like that. We're gonna zero out his position, just like that. Bring him up like this. We're gonna close his mouth. Close that mouth, snake. Okay, sorry. And we'll just put that like this. Okay, so that looks scary. Good, good, good. Okay, so all in all, my life is complete by Thomas Brush validation. Jason, I didn't validate you. I just said you were right. Your life could be completely invalid for all I know. Um, so yeah, I'm just kidding. No, I, I do offer you my validation. It's very helpful, thank you. You've, you've done a very good job. Okay, I'm losing, losing steam here, but let's hit play and take a look. 
So if I hit play, we should see the snake just moving around normal. Good. Very good, we are so close, I can feel it. I can feel it. So we take the basilisk body. Um, oh, what's this? We can delete this, what's this, what's this? Delete that, and right here, we unpack this prefab, and we take the bone of the body and unparent it completely, okay? So his head, his teeth, those are going to move with the body, but the bones, all everything else will be hanging out behind him. This is great. That's what we want. So far, so good. Now we go to the armature here, and we're going to take all of these components, and we're going to bring them onto this first bone. Paste, component as new. Same with this one here. Um, what was that? The ridge body and the hidden joint. And then we need to take the capsule collider. Oh man, I can feel it guys. We're so close. And we, we paste the capsule collider here. So let's take a look here. So a tiny little capsule collider. Radius up, height, good. So now all we gotta do is just assign it properly. So we're gonna do the width first of that bone, just like that, just like that. Good, 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 we're so close. Okay, now, that's all set up. That's all set, oh yeah, interpolation, set that properly. Continuous, dynamic, set the drag to five, five. Okay, we're gonna set this to zero, just so we can see that it's working. It's working! It's working! Now what? Well, let's just let's double check and be sure though, okay? Just wanna be sure. We don't want any weird movements. Hey, Aaron, email Thomas at fulltimegamedev.com and we'll do that for you, okay? Email Thomas at fulltimegamedev.com and we shall do that for you. With the subject line, Thomas said to email you. So far, so good. But Aaron, be sure to do that pretty soon here and we'll get you set up. Okay, we're observing. I wanna make sure it's, it follows the snake properly. Very good, that's exactly what I wanted to see. But hey, hey, we also wanna make sure that we set these all to ragdoll bones. Ragdoll in lair. Okay, so here's the theory, guys. Take the hinge joint and paste it all the way down the line. just like that, and then take the capsule collider and paste it all the way down the line. But notice how the interpolation didn't, didn't save when I pasted it, which is just odd to me. But we're gonna go five, five, interpolate, and then we're gonna do continuous. Save that out, and the theory is we shall see Oh, we need to set, <laughs> we need to set this one, 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 one. Uh, one, 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 one. Save, hit play. Will the snake slither from side to side? No, Panka, what's wrong with you? I don't have time for that. What the heck? I think I did that wrong. 
So, what? Why? It could be the, the capsule collider is just wrong for each one. Let's take a look here. That's hilarious. Um, it's usually something simple, right? That's, that's what I tell myself so I don't completely collapse emotionally. Why did it do that? Oh, Thomas, you fool. They need to be connected properly. This is gonna be a pain in the butt, but we gotta do it. Um, drag, 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 drag. Drag, 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 drag. Drag, 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 drag. Whoa, whoa, ah! Drag, 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 drag. Drag, 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 drag. <laughs> drag, 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 drag. 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 Okay. One, two. So far, so good. <laughs> okay, guys, we did it. So that looks great. So let's save that out and hit play. Ooh, that's great. It's like a real snake. And I told you guys to listen to me. Ooh, that is so gross. But the truth is, is I listen to you guys, which is my whole mantra. Be humble enough to and this is why you don't want it colliding with itself so that he can go through itself it's pretty horrifying isn't that cool He's a little wormy. So let's take a look at what he looks like. Ooh. Well, that was an interesting shot. Um, okay, let's, let's take a look and see what we got, how scary this is. You guys ready?
<laughs> hey, buddy, what are you doing? <laughs> Ooh, it chills. Look at that. Oh, that was scary. I got some chills. I don't know if you can see it. Hair's raisin. That was scary. Um, so I understand there was a glitch there and why it was happening the way it was. Um, why, and that glitch is true, that the tick, 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 tick glitch, that's true with all the enemies. And so we need to look into what's going on there. Okay, but what I really wanna see is how it looks when you're like behind him. So I wanna be able to see its body slithering. And that was the big goal with the snake, is I want to be able to see it. <laughs> oh! That's great. That is awesome. That's what we wanted. And for the record, um, Two Star Games, I believe he did something similar to this. Um, it was actually Felipe who said he wants it to be a snake. So I don't, I didn't get the idea from Two Star. I mean, I would, I would say it. I mean, it's totally fine if I did. But um, Felipe had the idea. The only problem is you could touch his body. pretty good right I mean there's there's some 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 tweaking that we need to do there um, to ensure that you know it, it looks better I think that we could probably um, maybe make him a little bit smaller I, I, I'm not so sure um, exactly what we're gonna do there but uh, anyway that's that's really really exciting um, yeah guys just remember um, there's probably a few coupon codes left to join the ultimate game artist program so if you want to learn from Felipe who's the 3d artist and also from me who's a 2d artist and I also do texture work learn from people who are actually in the trenches making indie games that's what makes these courses well frankly premium but also um, hyper valuable and a great investment in your future because I'm a 2d artist and I have games on every platform um, uh, Never Song and Pinstripe. I've been featured by Time Magazine. I've wor worked with Apple Arcade, and I do this for a living. And so if you're interested in learning from somebody who actually does that, you can get 2D Art and also 3D Art um, Pro, which are they're 50% off right now, but only for this sale event. Great reviews for the program. Um, if you're a student, let me know in the chat. Use the promo code half off below, and there are probably six codes left, and I will see you on the Discord server. Um, you're also going to learn pixel art. There's just a ton of stuff here. Substance, Painter, Blender, all of that. And this does support the development of Twisted Tower. Um, so I will see you guys there if you're interested. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. That was fun. That was a really fun live stream. I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers. Get over here. Get down. <coughs> hey, thanks for watching. By the way, if you haven't downloaded that free 2D game kit below, click below. It's my treat to you. I used this game kit to make a game for PewDiePie in 14 days and I actually got to play it with him in front of his audience, which is really cool. This game kit is totally free. It's my treat to you and you can use it however you want. You can make a commercial game and make a million Kuna bucks off this game kit. I don't care. Or you could just use it for a hobby project. It's my treat to you. And by the way, if you haven't clicked like, that would mean a ton to me. Hit subscribe. And also, this is important. Hit that notification bell. Here's why. If you get notified of when I'm live, you can watch me make my next game and let me know in the chat what you think about the game or any ideas you have. 
and you might just show up, your chat might just show up in the next video that I upload. All right, I'll talk to you later, bye. I love you.